Now, I've always been very intrigued with building stuff, making stuff. The most fun I can remember as a child is playing in the dirt with matchboxes. It wasn't necessarily the matchboxes, it's because I built roads and I built bridges and I'd get, you know, I'd, there'd be grass and I'd pull the grass up and I'd make it dirt, didn't make my dad happy because it was a yard. And, and I'd build and I'd carve roads out, little ditches, and make little mountains and do all that kind of stuff. That was when I was, a, you know, before I was, gosh, we moved to the house my parents live in now when I was eight, so I was probably five and six years old then. So it started way early. <laughs> The very first project I ever did was, I was always kind of intrigued, I'm a Navy guy, I was intrigued with ships. So um, I took a, a model of the Santa Maria, just a picture, and I drew out how I would go about building a small model of this ship. But I had no training, I didn't know how to build anything like that, so I just, just went with what I thought would be a smart way to go, and I built kind of a skeleton inside, and then I started putting little strips of wood over it, and within a, you know eight months or so, voila, I had a ship. So the biggest project I've ever undertaken is in my backyard at my house. And I envisioned about a four-stage project, which would be building a pergola, putting a patio under it, and tying it into the pool. So my four-stage project has now turned into about a 74-stage project, which has gone from literally starting out building sidewalks around the side, building a very large pergola that I designed on Excel. And the process is taken, I'm about two years it took about two years totally, and I'm still not completely finished. But anyway, the project's been great. We love it. Uh, it's got, a, like I said, I built a shed, and my daughters, they always name. They name the cars, they name everything. And so they, they said, we got to name the shed. I said, how about Sarai? Because that's shed in Russian. So since I speak a little bit of Russian now, we named the shed Sarai, thanks to my oldest daughter, Darren. So it's been a great, great project and a lot of fun. We can't call the AC guy to come out and fix the, the cooling system in, in the space station. We have to do it ourselves. So having that kind of ability to kind of think in those kind of, kind of realms is very, very beneficial uh, I, uh, for, for those type of things. I know in the training, I've trained on many different systems, all the systems throughout the space station. That's why it's such a long process. And intuitively, a lot of it just makes sense. You know, I've, I've had the fortune of, I have an engineering degree and a master's degree um, but my entire career has been in operations. I basically have not done much design work, but I've been an operator. And for what we do on orbit, to having all that, you know, years in the military, flying airplanes, you know, landing on air aircraft carriers and, and all that kind of stuff, has just been kind of the way I was raised professionally. And all that parlays very well into what we're doing. And that kind of mindset and understanding how things work, uh, having that kind of intuitive feel for how things work and, and, and how things, you know, basically fit together so you can take things off and put them back on and that type of stuff. So it's been, it's been very helpful in the training. And I, from what I'm told, you know, six months on board, I've never done that. But from what I'm told from other folks that have done it, it's, it's very helpful once you're there as well.